Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? Wish popping. What's going on in the life of a Piscean for the month of April 2019? Are we having different shifts towards our perception? Are we shifting our perception on things as well as our perspective on things? Are we gaining knowledge of information that was coming in from late March? Rolling into April? <laughs> hey, boo, hey. It's your first time watching my channel? I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell the course say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you, you know, without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We might. We don't fight with us. We leave that shit on the beach. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. Posy vibes only, okay? So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Pisces. Uh, for my returning subscribers, Samalia, what's good? What's tea? What's been going on? We fucking made it. How about that? Let's take a moment of silence so because of that we made it. Y'all retrograde wouldn't bullshit. Uh, all right, and we back. All right. So this is a uh, general. Not personal, so it's not gonna resonate with everybody. Please take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if it ain't your size, honey. If it's too big, your ass gonna fall. All right, so take what fits you. All right, so we're gonna start off with our intuitive messages. Oh, the sign of Pisces for the month of April. Intuitively, while meditating on your energy, the messages that I did I received words reunion, forgiveness, Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, Twin Flame, Dreams, Final Decision, Black Magic, Astro Travel, Abundance, Premonitions, Blockage, Great Fortune, New Business, Spiritual Gift, Taurus, Gemini Libra, Cancer, Mental illness, releasing, fatal attraction, shit, Pisces. transition, addictions, obsession. Now y'all got some shit, okay? Some of this, and, and how my intuitive messages work. I don't even always remember what I even wrote here. I just go with my soul, I go with what I hear, I'm that audience, I go with my guides, all right? So, for those of you who that resonated with, Pisces, let's talk about it, okay? Your angel message that you guys received for the month of April was gift from God. Your message comes from Archangel Sandifon. We angels bring you gifts from the Creator. Open your arms to receive. So I definitely feel like this is a very abundant time for uh, Pisces. This is a time of expansion for you all. I definitely feel I'm 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 seeing like again too, um, like a rope where like one side is pulling, like both like both. There's one person pulling aside, and someone has just chosen to stop pulling. Like I. I, if I don't pull, then you know, fuck it. You, you treat so, there's someone treating someone else like a child. Uh, well, they're perceiving you to be treating them like a child, even though you're trying to avoid confusion. Um, some of you all may have issues um, or come to some type of clarity or some get some type of truth from your mother during this time. Or this could be a grandmother or regarding a mother. Some of you all could also be um, expanding on um, your gifts as far as like your knowledge about the occult, as well as um, just a lot of esoteric, esoteric um in esoteric areas. Um, during this time, some of you all, um, and I, and for what I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and start with the banger so we can move 
to, to the positive shit. Some of you all may have um, lost a child. I'm here in January. So some of you guys could have uh, been trying to conceive since you have lost a child in the month of January. Spirit is letting you know that that child is definitely protected, okay? You had a few things that you had to see clearly. And for some of you all, now you're understanding why that child, it wasn't meant for that baby to be here. The spirit wants you to know that baby is protected. For some of you all, it was... I'm not going to call losing a child a blessing because it's not. But it's also when you have when, when you gain spiritual understanding, your emotions towards certain things, like you, you have a greater um, concept of what's going on. For some of you all, you are in a very toxic and very karmic relationship. The spirit was really trying to yank apart. That child is going to come with the right person, um, and I feel like it's going to come in the form of new love, but I definitely feel like it was not meant for you and that, that person to make that child. Uh, for I feel like you've been feeling like you're infertile. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're not infertile. Um, in the next eight months, whoever I'm speaking to, you will find out that you are pregnant, but you need to see the situation with love. And you need to see it from a di from a different perspective, okay? Because I feel like you've been carrying that, and Spirit wants you to let it go and let that baby rest easy because you will see that same Spirit again, okay? For some of you all, I definitely feel like some of you guys are... During the month of April, I feel like there's this all-knowing. Like, some of you guys could actually possibly finish just about everybody's fucking sentences, even strangers during this time. Some of you all may also be kind of going back. I'm hearing back to the basics. So, some of you all may be going back to uh, the root of your studies when it comes to religions or traditions. Some of you guys could also be going back to school. Um, I feel like whatever move that you're making towards your spirituality, a lot of you guys have learned, especially in the last course of the six of the last six months, uh, to really keep your business to your damn self. So some of you all could, um, some of you guys could also, um, some of y'all could be finding feathers during this time. That has something to do with the protection of your ancestors. They do want you to know that they are around you at all times, protecting you. Okay, for some of you all. Some of y'all intuitively know that you're going to be receiving some communication, possibly from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is more so that mother figure that I that I'll speak about. Or some of you all, you you're seeing a situation from a different perspective, and where you once um, could have wanted to uh, reach out to a mother figure, or um, or when you once were angry at someone, you're seeing things from a different from a different viewpoint now. So you're able to kind of go back at it and just be like, you know what? I'm not I'm not with the shits, but I do forgive you because you were just the catalyst to my awakening. You were only um, the person that was used to, you know, come in for some of you all. Uh, there's a reunion with someone who is literally the catalyst to your growth. And they want you to see the situation and see the person through the eyes of love, through the spectrum of love. OK, for some of you all, this is someone who you definitely have a child with. OK, this could be a man or a woman. I'm, I'm hearing um, some of you all may be seeing a lot of white birds. Spirit wants you to know that you're going through this rebirth, this purity. Okay, when that spring equinox of that particular portal um, actually, when that particular portal actually opened, it allowed us to, it, it really gave, it gave us no choice but to truly move in our own autonomy. Okay, it truly tr move in our own truth, our own authenticity, like it the fuck or not. Okay, uh, during this time, a lot of people may be kind of coming at you reckless, talking out the side of their damn mouth. Spirit is saying it's only a test, especially if you are a Piscean who are working on your temper, because I feel like this is something that you've really been praying about it. And in the month of April, at least this first half, I'm seeing people are going to be pretty reckless with the mouth. Spirit wants you to release that mindset of you feeling as if you got to pop off. I feel like it's more so the ego acting than your actual soul self, than your higher self, okay? So there will be dances with the light and the shadow during this time, especially when it comes to communicating with other people. And it's because they ask is crazy. Two fruit, two damn screws loose of a fruit loop. Throw the fuck. The lights is on, but nobody's home, Piscean. It's a vacant fucking house with a high ass light beam to somebody, okay? So I definitely feel like some of you are, you're really going to be focused um, about children. For some of you all, you're going to be getting clarity um, regarding a particular situation surrounding a child. This could also be your inner child that is going through uh, the sense of purging and healing during this time. And that it releases you from your perception of the way that you see things so that you can see um, aspects and situations and things that 
are coming to you with, with more than just clarity, but again, seeing it through a spectrum of love. Some of you all going through are going to have a badass uh, crown chakra activation. For those of you who connect with water goddesses, you really need to get out near that water. It looks like between the second and the third week of April, you really need to be near some water. I'm here in Oshun, um, goddess. Ooh. Some of you all connect with the goddess Mayat. Um, it could have to do with a past life. This could also be, um, you guys could also be dreaming of or having some type of telepath, t telep telepathic connection with someone who you shared a past life with, which is why for some of you all, you know, this conversation is, is, is coming that you just, you know, or some of you guys could have also been, some of y'all could have someone trying to work a come come back to me spell or come to me spell or someone could be learning how to manifest some of you all could also be learning how to make um some of y'all could be working on different oils or herbs or some type of holistics or some of you all could be going to school to be some type of holistic holistic practitioner um some of you all, you have some type of tie to like medieval times i'm feeling somebody is literally learning about some type of ancient text connected to a dragon but they're they're learning about it and i feel like whoever this is you're a young mystic okay so you could be learning um how to how to practice magic for some of you all you're gonna step into your uh, to your place as this high priestess and for some of you all you may be um thinking about because for some of you all i feel the energy of i'm, I'm talking to somebody who has the genetics like 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 uh, like how can i put it like a supreme like someone has the someone's a high priestess but on a whole other level like you you are some form of a white witch i feel like you've been kind of dancing back and forth with the dark and shadow side with the shadow sides and the light sides of yourself and it has to do with the interference of your energy with the external this could be love matters this could be in and out but i feel like you have a decision where you could be the creator or the destroyer and you've been working more so with your light selves and spirit is and for a few of y'all actually you've been working more so with your lighter selves some of you guys could also be trying to create like reversal pool like reversal potions or um somebody what y'all is working on something fucking big like a potion to like cure some type of like chronic diseases um you read a lot of books during this time some of you all could also be manifesting uh abundance or manifesting money there's a main focus on the heart chakra during this time some of y'all got a, a heart chakra union coming this is a new person. This could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you guys, this could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person and yourself, this person is coming in to help you heal. But this person also has um, life partner energy on them. This person is also going to be very spiritual. So you guys are going to be able to share that particular connection. I definitely feel like you guys really got to find in the month of April, no matter how, it, when you can catch yourself, okay, find it in that Finding yourself in that state of worry or paranoia, or worried about your thoughts. I mean, worried about your thoughts. Fuck. Worried about worried about things, how things could go wrong. Immediately think about how they can go right and how they already are going right. Begin to manifest that positive, that positivity and that abundance to you. You are what you attract. Okay. So if you keep attracting negative people, you may need to step back and actually look at look at aspects of yourself because the people in our life are simply mirrors and a form of like a reflection of ourselves it's easier to point the finger but it's time to go in and do some 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 some, some deep soul searching and see the pattern of the people who you date you know even if you got to take a little list write it down okay was fucking mark as crazy as aaron and both of them had a bad temper both of them have daddy issues oh shit well i got daddy issues both of them had an issue with me going somewhere thinking i'm gonna leave them y'all be thinking people gonna leave so it's it's really Coming to that and doing that self work. This is the this is the month of self work for Pisces, and it's really going to radiate some beautiful things in your actual external and material world. All right, so let's get it. Here, what messages do you have for my beautiful Pisces? My Pisces for the month of April in love. What messages do you have for Pisces in love? Okay. Some of you could have, um, some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who needs to make a decision. Some of y'all got two men fighting over y'all. Okay, some of y'all could have a Gemini and a damn Libra, Aquarius and a damn, uh, uh, 
I feel like this is someone older and someone younger, okay? Someone who, uh, the older guy would be someone who is fair-skinned, okay? He's um, He would be, like, light-skinned. I feel like this person, this older guy, this is someone who is going, for, going through a transformation, and this person could be kind of coming back to this person could be coming back because they want that passionate that new beginning with you they know that you're single okay and ready to mingle like a pringle okay but then you met mark ass over here all right and i feel like for some of you all you can even have two men of different like two men of different like descents like one black man one caucasian man to, to that extent like you can have two different men fighting over you though okay I definitely feel like for some of you all, this is indecision on which way you want to go. I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of you all are thinking of, some of y'all, oh shit, some of y'all are, some of y'all could be dealing with a, this could be y'all with this damn seven of swords, not for everybody, but for those of you who are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel like what's holding that relationship together straight like that is sex, okay, because this relationship looks to be very interesting i definitely feel like someone is talking some of y'all got an air sign so not even aquarius talking to you some of y'all have a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i feel like you're indecisive about this person because i feel like you feel as if this person is a bit sneaky okay so some of y'all could be watching this person for some of you all this could be an aries okay some of y'all could be spying on the aries to have an aries person spying on you this could be someone who you feel like deceived you in the past and for some reason, some of y'all are having a, some, 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 I'm feeling some sexual, any, like some of y'all are having sexual thoughts or sexual dreams about this person. Some of you guys are kind of in your head, back and forth about if you want to reach out and communicate with this person, like start small talk, okay? For some of you all, um, for some of you all, this is actually cutting this person off and moving forward possibly with the cancer, okay? For some of you all, this could also have to do the same thing. Some of y'all could be spying to see if an Aries got back together with the cancer. Some of y'all got a cancer sign on you to see if you back with Aries. Yeah. Some of you guys want to reconcile with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is passion there, but there's no, there's no, there, there, there's no healthy communication. I feel like you or this other person, okay, um, have vulnerability issues or this like this fear of commitment or this fear of opening up. Someone's afraid that they're going to be hurt or rejected or like turned away. So there's this fear of this reconciliation happening, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all actually, this could be the mother or the father of your child. They want to move forward. They want to reconcile. They actually, they feel like they have waited their turn. Okay. So this person is coming forward to talk. They may even come forward in a sexual manner. I'm hearing drunk texts. So somebody may be receiving some type of drunk text. And when this person texts you, they really going to tell you how the hell they feel. Okay. I definitely feel like you may not take it seriously because they drunk. Some of y'all are, um, some of you guys are moving forward towards reconciling with the Sagittarius, okay? This could be someone who made you feel as if you were lack you were lacking in the past, or maybe you reconcile with the Sagittarius this month, but you reconcile with this person just to connect with them and see that they feel the same damn controlling, okay? And some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like this person is trying to keep you there. Some of y'all some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo that is extremely fucking controlling. I feel like this person is, could be very beautiful. This person could be very attractive, okay? But I definitely feel like trust your intuition. If your intuition is telling you that this person is controlling, and I feel like this person could be very giving. Like, they don't mind helping you, but they kind of crumb you a little bit. Like, they give you just enough to keep you kind of coming back and keep you in their energy. Somebody is emotionally manipulative here. That could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. And I feel like you guys are trusting your intuition during this time, and some of y'all are walking away from you just not with the shit. Some of y'all could also be walking away from another water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like you're walking away to go through your own transformation. You feel like this person is no longer on your level. You you ascended past them and they just really no longer meet your qualifications, okay? For some of you all, you're gonna walk away and run right into a damn tourist. And for some of you all, for some of you all, you're walking away uh, to a higher level of you moving some of y'all are moving into a higher level of commitment. For those of you who are dealing with the sign of Taurus, okay, I feel like some of y'all are walking away and just being independent. You're going to focus on your damn self, focus on this damn shmoney, okay, and stay your little mysterious Pisces self. Focus on your transformation, your growth, your spiritual abundance. The Spirit wants you to know that you are going to be victorious in doing so.
you're going to be victorious. For those of you who, um, some of you guys really don't, some of you guys need to move into your life purpose, okay? Some of you guys could also be signing contracts during this time. And some of you guys could actually be finally releasing a situation after some type of court. Okay, I heard paternity. Some of y'all could also be finding out paternity issues around finding out. Some of you guys could be finding out. I feel like some of you guys could have literally thought something down so hard that you manifested just that. Okay, it came right out the damn bushes on your ass. And here comes this ex saying, okay, well now, oh, you know, I feel like this is someone who could have also been controlling with children in the past. Or trying to control you or like kind of force their way in your life through the children that you guys share. This person has gone through some type of awakening, okay? But I definitely feel like for those of you who are dealing with a new earth sign, okay? Capricorn towards Virgo, a new earth sign. Your, your, your best advice is to take it easy. Take it very slowly, okay? Don't rush into the situation with this person. Because some of y'all going to find out this person got a damn drinking problem later on down the line. And this is why they can't fully accept your cup. But for some of you all, who have been constantly given to a situation, given to a situation, given to a situation, and you feel like this person is childish. Now, this fucking person has a problem. They need to go see AA or go to the dams. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who really needs to go to the rehab, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all is some of y'all got a Leo in your life that's trying to balance you because this person genuinely wants to be with you, but they're trying to balance time with you and an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo. And I feel like during this time, you're going to communicate with this person and let them know, like, look here, we're going to do this or not. Because I got mad love and I want something solid. Some of you all, there is a stable offer with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Okay? For this, I feel like this is more so for the Pisces woman. You got two people coming towards you. You have to make a decision. This person could be a king of pentacles, Capricorn, towards Virgo. For some reason, I feel like somebody have like a lazy eye. If this, whoever the earth sign I'm speaking about, somebody dealing with the earth sign, they got a lazy eye. Okay? And this water sign, uh, Cancer Pisces, full, baby, he is fine. Okay? You can give him... Mm. Just give him my number. But some of you have a stable offer coming in this month, and I feel like I'm hearing the last week, last two weeks. This could be the last two weeks of April, so I definitely feel like we're going to talk about him in the many months. This could be one person, but he's fine, and he got that shmoney, honey, so don't run. If you being mean, slow down. He just trying to get to know you. Girl, going to turn around, because the solid ass offer looking good to me. This shit. King of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. What you scared for? This is what you've been manifesting. This is what you've been waiting on. Now you understand why you had to release so much shit. Let me know. Invite me to the motherfucking party. I like parties. I'm an A. This is my season. Okay? Right, so this is what I got in love for the month of April. For my Pisces. If you need that personal reading, you guys, hit me up. That information will be found in the description. Be low. Much love, much life, many blessings. Namaste, y'all. Love y'all.